Don't laugh. Laugh, but don't laugh. Okay. <laughs> and thank you for coming to support the CCRS class of 2023 and watching our play, Once Upon a Crime. My name is Henny Penny. <laughs> and I'm Thumbelina. Before we begin, there are a few reminders. In case of an emergency, the exits are at the back of the auditorium and the front right here. If you need to use the restroom, it's down the hall that way. There is also one addition to the program. Jaden Marshall is in front of house. <laughs> and just so y'all know, tonight is a live court case, meaning that you are all participating as our jurors. That means you're deciding, is Goldilocks innocent or is she guilty? Before our judge decides to render a verdict, Three of our goons from backstage will come around and collect your ballots. So make sure you have your votes ready before the end and enjoy the show. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Goldilocks. Hi! And she looked sweet and innocent. Ah, uh, gee. But she wasn't. What? She was evil. Hey, now. She was selfish and cruel. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. But I'm not. Who's telling this story? But you're telling it wrong. You'll get your chance. Now, Goldilocks. Or as she was known to her friends, Cruella McGritty III from Meesville. Nobody ever called me that. Had an evil laugh. I do not. I said an evil laugh. We need to hear you laugh. No. You have to laugh, or I'll have you arrested for contempt of story. Fine. <laughs> and she liked to wring her hands. Go on, ring. One day, Goldilocks was walking through the forest, humming to herself. Go on, hum. <laughs> A dark, evil hum. <laughs> <laughs> and shooting birds with her slingshot. I never did that. You'll get your chance. This is my story. Hiya, got you, stupid bird. I am the meanest, cruelest <laughs> person ever. Then she came upon a brother and sister in the forest. Hiya, I'm Hansel. And I'm Gretel. 
She is Gretel's, y'all. He's the best, the bravest, the smartest bird in all the world. I am, y'all. Well, she is the sweet, kindest, sweetest sister that ever was. I love you, Ansel. I love you, Gretel. Excuse me, miss. <laughs> what do you want? Would you like to smell our flowers? Flowers, y'all. Yeah. Smell our flowers. No, flowers are dumb and stinky, and you are dumb and silly for liking dumb and stinky things. Now get out of here, I'll hit you by a slingshot. I hate kids. Then she came upon a family of bears who were out for a stroll in the woods. Here we are, walking in the woods. Just out for a stroll. Enjoying the fresh air. I'm so happy to be here. Me too, Papa. I, this is the greatest day ever. I love you, Papa. I love you too, Junior. I have the best child. Aww. And the prettiest wife. Aww. My life is perfect. Because we're the happiest family ever. Bring it in. You I hate bears. They're stupid and stinky and have trouble with advanced mathematics. <coughs> then Goldilocks came upon a cottage in the forest. Oh my goodness, what a dumb old cottage. Goldilocks tried the door. It's locked. And who would lock a shabby old house like this? So Goldilocks kicked in the door. Hiya! <laughs> it's so small, and who did the decorating? It's so ugly, I may go blind because of how ugly this decorating is. Then Goldilocks smelled something on the table. What is that awful stench? It smells like dog burps. She found three bowls of porridge. Is that what this is? I thought maybe a vulture threw up. So Goldilocks tried the porridge. Ow, that one is too hot. I might have burned my tongue. She tried the next bowl. And this one is too cold. It's freezing. I may catch pneumonia because of how cold that is. She tried the last bowl. Mmm, this one is just right. And I'm going to eat it all because I'm selfish and greedy. <laughs> <laughs> then she sat on a chair. Ow, oh, this one is too hard. I may have bruised because of how hard this chair is. She sat on the next chair. And this one is too soft. I may have broken a vertebrae. She tried the last chair. Ah, oh, this one is just right. But I hate chairs in this dumb old house, so I'm going to break it. That'll teach that chair to be so cherry. Looking for the hidden money and family jewels, Goldilocks went into the bedroom. Most people hide money in their mattresses. Let's see if they did. This one is too hard. How can people sleep on that? And this one is too soft. Ah, oh, this one is just right. Exhausted from being evil and mean, Goldilocks fell asleep. The bears returned. We're home, my loving family that I love so much. <laughs> and were shocked at what they saw. Hey, somebody broke down our door. That's breaking and entering. And someone's been eating my porridge. Someone's been eating my porridge. Someone's been eating my porridge and they ate it all up. That's grand theft porridge. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Someone's been sitting in my chair. And look, they broke it. That's vandalism. <laughs> and someone's been sleeping in my favorite bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And look, they're still there. Ah! loitering, and invasion of privacy. Goldilocks has broken laws and terrorized the forest. She needs to be brought to justice, which is why she is on trial for her crimes. And that's why you must bring forth a verdict of guilty.
She's making my client look guilty. She is guilty. The prosecutor, I say, the prosecutor is allowed to make her opening statement. But her opening statement was a little short on evidence. Why are you looking at me when you say short? I didn't mean that. You want to fight about it? I'll fight you right now. Order, I say, order my court. Objections overruled. But I didn't do those things. Miss Penny, a better silence or quiet. But that's not the way it happened. I know, dear. Miss Penny, you can now make your opening statement. Yeah, tell them what really happened. Don't worry, dear. I know just what to say. <laughs>
can. Fine. I'll tell you what. How about you just jump over my pencil once? I think I pulled a muscle. Just leap over the pencil. My hamstring is killing me. I'm afraid I must insist you once see. I won't. You must. I can't. Your Honor. The cow you are ordered to jump over that pencil, you will hereby be held in contempt of court. But Your Honor. Stop. I can't. I can't. Okay, I can't jump. Objection. She's badgering the witness. The witness is a cow, not a badger. Isn't that right, Miss Cow? Yes. And you're certainly not the cow. No, fine. I'm not the cow. I'm Jack's cow. <laughs> Bessie, Bessie, is that you? Oh, sure. Now you know my name. What are you doing? Telling the truth, Jack. Will you tell us the truthy boothy? Jack was my master. I thought we were friends, buddies. I even scratched Bessie and Jack, best friends forever, into a tree. What happened? He sold me for three lousy beans. <gasps> I gave more milk than that for breakfast. I sleep outside, I eat grass, I cost like nothing. I'm totally low maintenance. And he cast me aside for three lousy beans? They were magic beans. I was gonna teach you how to make ice cream. Magic beans, magic. So maybe I got kind of skinny, but there wasn't a lot of grass to eat in your little backyard. Were you looking at me when you said little? And maybe I wasn't in the best of shape, but there wasn't a lot of room to exercise in that teeny, tiny backyard. Oh, teeny and tiny. You wanna fight me now too? So I was weak and out of shape, and he cast me aside for three lousy beans. What part of magic are you not getting? So I changed my diet, started working out, complete makeover. And you started telling people you could jump over the moon? Yes, and people loved me for it. I even had a little dog laugh to see such sport. And you became famous, famous? Yes. But you can't actually jump over the moon. No. So you didn't actually see Goldilocks that night. Did you? No, no, I did not. No more further questions, Your Honor. The witness, you can step down. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I don't want to talk about it. They were magic beans, okay? They made this bean stuff grow, and. I don't want to talk about it. Your Honor, we ask that all of our be dropped on the account of this witness being a liar, liar! Objection! We have other witnesses. Motion, I say. Motion denied. Miss Lumbelina, you better call your next witness. Your Honor, the prosecution calls Hansel to stand. <laughs> Hey, ah! Scared the girl. 
And then we heard... Too hot! Too cold! Ah, oh, just right. And then... Too hard! And too soft! Ah, oh, just right, but I hate chairs! Die, you stupid chair! And then... Too hard! And too soft! Ah, <laughs> oh, this one is just right. Then family affairs came back from our walk in the woods. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
houses? It was just at one time. Hansel, shut up! <laughs> I told my sister, don't eat the gingerbread, but she had to shove her face with the gumdrops and the peppermints and little corny candies that come in three colors. I was hungry! <laughs> You're always hungry. <laughs> into a gingerbread cottage. It was her. All her. Hansel, shut up. It was weird that you pushed that homeowner into an oven. She was a witch. Hansel, shut up. <laughs> That's felonous witch roaching without a permit, breaking and entering, and perjury. How can this court believe anything you say? But we saw her in the forest. No more further questions. And, Miss Gretel, you better keep with your flowers. You may step down now. <laughs> I can't believe you're ratting me out. You'll have a problem. I can do any time I want. You need to get into gingerbread anonymous. I hate you. I hate you more. <laughs> Come along. We are lost. We are not lost. We're always lost. You couldn't find the river even if you're standing on the bottom of it. I'm telling mom, you're being insulting. I get cranky when I'm hungry. And that's why you're always grumpy. Hardy, why would you let the birds eat our breadcrumbs? Hi, kids. Is there anything I can do to help? Nine. John, you know what to get to. We don't need directions. You got a sandwich on you? Jeepers, no. Pie? Any kind of pie? Golly, no. Dumb, mint, stand by good link? Gosh, I'm so sorry I don't. I figured. Come on, I think it's this way. Are you sure? Don't start with me. <laughs> I felt really bad. I couldn't give those kids a hand. I give. I'm a giver. That's what I do. Well, so the next thing I know, the sweetest little old lady you ever did see for the pie. I can tell right away she could not see good. What? I know, man. Speak up. My ears aren't what they used to be. Golly, Miss G, can I give you a hand? Is that red? No, I'm not red. Hello, red. I'm definitely not red. Red, where have you been? I've been right here. Little red riding hood, what have I told you about hanging about in the forest? There are wolves out here. I know, cuz. Speak up, red. I said I know, cuz. No need to shout, red. Did you know it broke in my glasses? Jeepers, I'm so sorry to hear that. I need to take a nap. And it's time for my pills. She looks really weak and tired, so I knew there was cottage nearby, so I thought I'd bring her there. <laughs> Here we go, Miss G. We'll have your brightest ready in a few minutes. Run, Granny, I'm red. You run. You can't 
four and seven eighths next Tuesday afternoon. My four and seven eighths? You're practically ancient. <laughs> I should call you Old Bear. I wonder, Dunder, if you could tell us what happened. So it's like everyone else said. We were coming back from a walk in the woods and saw that our front door had been broken in. Did you see Goldilocks break the door? Uh, well, no. I see. Go on. And then we saw that someone had eaten our porridge. <gasps> Terrible wearable. Did you see Goldilocks eat the porridge? Well, with my own eyes, no. But I did see that someone had broken my favorite chair. I had come in to see. Objection! Doris! Mom! What? You don't object to your own son putting gum on the furniture? Did you see Goldilocks break your chair? No, but I did see her in my bed. You bet I saw that. Dad scared her away. It was so funny. Thank you. That's all. Miss Lavalina? <laughs> No questions, Your Honor. All right, you may, I say, you may step down. Oh, hold on, Your Honor. Just one more question. All right. Baby Bear, why did you go for a walk in the woods? What? He does not have to answer that. Doris. I'm afraid he does. Baby Bear, the incident we're talking about happened in January. Shouldn't most bears be hibernating through the winter? Uh... Don't answer that. Most families should be asleep. Why was it your family a sleepy weepy? No. Uh, you were under oath. Uh, the he's just a little baby. baby. The cub must answer the question. But he's just a little baby. Answer the question. Maybe his mother's right, Your Honor. Maybe he is just a baby. I am not, and I can answer that if I want to. The reason we were hibernating is because my mom wanted to throw a surprise party for my dad. What? What did I say? That you hate surprise parties. I hate surprise parties, I said. I know, dear. You told me you were throwing me a surprise party. I only said that because you were so upset. I wasn't upset. You know how you get. How do I get? You get upset. I'm not upset. When? You don't get enough sleep. I didn't get enough sleep because you woke me up. Order, I say. Order in my core. I just wanted to show you how much you're loved. By waking me up. By throwing you a great party. The best party ever? Order in my Bal car! Balloons! Catering! I even hired a party planner! What party planner? Me! <laughs> order, I say! Order in this car! Your Honor, we call Goldilocks to the stand. Somewhere. It was a really good 
pumpernickel. I can't believe you got us lost again. You are not lost. We are always lost. I'm telling mom. I don't know. <laughs> what? We are lost. We are not lost. Again? We are not lost. We are always lost, and I'm hungry. Are those breadcrumbs over there? Oh, dear. Did you eat our breadcrumbs? No, but I did feed them to the bird. I didn't know they were yours. I'm so sorry. I told you the bird would eat them. Yes, you are a genius. You can see the future. Why don't you play the lottery? I'm so sorry. Can I help? Yes, can you tell us how to get to? We don't need directions. You've got to be kidding. Come on, I think it's this way. Well, <clears throat> then I was on my way to the cottage. <laughs> Mrs. Bear, are you here? It's me, Goldilocks. We have an appointment. Hello. The door is open, so I decided to go inside. Hello, Mrs. Bear, are you here? I decided they must have just stepped outside as there was still porridge on the table and it was still hot. So I decided to wait a little while. When I heard a commotion from outside. No, Granny, I'm Little Red. That's the wolf. That's just what a wolf would say. Run, Red, run! No, Granny, I'm Red. You run! You can't fool me. You won't separate me from my granddaughter. Anna, that's stupid. Stay close, Red. Granny, I'm red. See, I have your basket of goodies. Whoa, there's goodies in there? Did you give your basket of goodies to the wolf? No, Granny. Would you like to give your basket of goodies to the wolf? Hey, back off. Hey, don't talk to my granddaughter that way, you big bad wolf. No, Granny, I'm little red. Just give me the goodies. Run! No, I'm the wolf. Open the door. I'm Goldilocks. Would you like some goodies? Yes, please. I'm not talking to you. Are you here for the party? There's a party now? No. Why wasn't I invited? There is no party. Then what are the goodies for? Is it bring your own goodies? Um, I don't know what's going on. I'll take the goodies. Just open the door. No. I'm just here for the party. Red, dear, are you throwing me a party? I'm not Little Red. So no party then? I'm gonna count to three. One. We gotta hide. Two. Come on, Red. I'm Matt Little Red. <laughs> three. Ah, where are the goodies? There's no one here. I just left the goodies, where are they? Oh, goodies, where are you? Oh, goodies.
If I find anybody in my cottage, I swear to Grim, I'm going to eat them. Granny, they're going to eat us. The wolf is gone. Not the wolf, the bears. The bears are going to eat us. I don't know why I thought living in the forest was a good idea. So, you don't like surprises? I hate surprises. <laughs> Even if they're for you. Especially if they're for me. How about just a little surprise? No, I hate all surprises. Hate them, hate them, hate them. All right, dear. Will you just hold on here for one moment, please? Mrs. Bear, there you are. You can't be here. The door is open. I have so many ideas for the party. No party. There's no party. You need to hide. Uh, I just want to go back to sleep, and what happened here? Someone's been eating my porridge. And someone's been eating your porridge, Mom. No, that's impossible. And someone's been eating my porridge, and they ate it all up. Mm, someone's been sitting in my chair. No. Someone's been sitting in your chair, Mom. And someone's been sitting in my chair, and they broke it. Are you sure there's no surprises? There's no surprise! No surprise at all! Well, someone's been sleeping in my bed. Someone's been sleeping in your bed, Mom. No, you're imagining it! And someone's sleeping in my bed, and they're still there! Did they get to go to the ball? No, 
They were willing to give up their identity so the girl in the pretty dress could have her moment. A hero is a cow, willing to be sold so Jack can climb a beanstalk. Heroes are about sacrifice, about doing the tough job when no one else will.
this is coming. But I just want to say a few words before we have a little something for her. I don't think a lot of people know how much Mrs. Brown really does, not just for the senior class, as she is our mom, basically, um, senior advisor, senior play director, but she truly does help run this school. For the past few weeks, I think the class of 2023 can help me in on this, that it's been such an adventure. We've had so much fun as a family, and um, we've enjoyed some snacks. Thanks, Ms. Brown. Um, but before I take up too much time here tonight, um, all of us here truly want to say something. Ms. Brown, thank you for everything. Yeah, I think this snacks are down there really good. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ms. Brown. Thank you for pushing me to do this, Ms. Brown. It, it, really, it really helped my senior year be better. Thank you, Ms. Brown. We love you. Thanks for not killing me, Ms. Brown. <laughs> uh, Ms. Brown, we have 100% participation because of you. It's not all just us, it's you. Thank you, Ms. Brown. I mean, I know we haven't been the easiest class to work with. For real. Uh, maybe we've gotten a little bit of trouble, but we, <laughs> we thank you for sticking with us. You know, Ms. Brown, I just want to say sorry for, you know, almost getting kicked out of the play. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, there's so many people in our audience in the world to cancel. 
Holy Schneckles! <laughs> again tomorrow because we're going to vote again tomorrow because we did a hung jury this afternoon and well there's still more to decide tomorrow so we're going to rock the stage again tomorrow with the audience that we have but could we have one more round of applause for today for the class <laughs> Rock my world. Let's do it again tomorrow.